This video is sponsored by VIPSCDKey.com. VIPSCDKey.com is a marketplace website where you can purchase game keys and software keys with no hassle. VIPSCDKey.com offers a legit Windows 11 key for as low as $29. This is the same keys I use on my PC builds. But to make it more awesome, they will be giving another 25% discount. Just type our coupon code XTNC. To get it for only $21 for Windows 11 key. You now have your legit Windows 11 key license all set but in a more affordable price. If you're in the Philippines, purchasing is very easy. You can use PayPal or Maya. Visit VIPSCDKey.com now. I'll put the link in the video description below. So thank you VIPSCDKey.com for sponsoring this video. Natanggap nyo ba yung 13 month pay nyo? Tapos nag-unbass kayong around 70 to 80,000 plus na gaming PC. So actually this build uh, purpose ito is gaming, rendering, and productivity. So all gigabyte, all AMD. So featuring the RX 9060 XT na 16G. Paired natin siya ng Ryzen 7 7700. So nakikita nyo B850. Ito yung bago nila na B850M ports, Wi-Fi 6E. Ito yung mga parts. Gigabyte gaming 240 na AIO. 650 watt na power supply. Tapos SSD 1 terabyte. 32 gigabyte na RAM. At ito yung processor. Ryzen 7 7700. So, ito nga pala yung case. So, this is the Gigabyte C102 na glass. Uh, it's a micro ATX. And ang ganda ng front design nito. Access ba? Oh, yes. So, gagawin natin guys dito sa video. Quick unboxing muna. Tapos, tapos next video, papakita ko sa inyo uh, yung build and performance nito. Nga pala guys, meron tong promo. Ililink ko na sa description kung ano yung promo nila. Hindi ko kabisado pero i-discuss ko later. Bago yan, i-unbox muna natin or check muna natin yung mga parts. All gigabyte, all AMD na gaming slash rendering PC. Okay, check muna natin yung board. So, this is the B850 M4 Wi-Fi 6E. Kala ko white. May accent ba? So check natin. Oh, may silver accent. Oh, medyo gloss yung PCB. Brown. Tapos dual slot for the RAM. And so kulay white yung sa input and output. Or yung meron na siya nga palang naka-pre-mount na IO shield. And ito yung itsura. So white siya, hindi pala silver. So white dito sa may IO shroud. Then silver yung mga heatsink. Ito, nandito. Okay, walang bend pin. So, yun yung motherboard. Ito yung mga connectivity options. Meron tayong USB-C. Uh, isa, 3.2. Color red. Dalawang USB-2. Isang Ethernet port, 2.5G. Wi-Fi 6E. Output for DP and HDMI. USB 2.0. And a PS2 connection. Ginagamit nyo pa ba yan, yung port na yan. So, comment below. Check natin yung included. So this is for the M.2 pad, SATA, dalawang kable, G connector, and this is for the Wi-Fi antenna, Wi-Fi 6E, and the manual. Okay, so yun yung laman ng motherboard. Check naman natin yung GPU. So this GPU, it's the AMD Radeon RX 9060 XT, 16G, an overclocking edition, wind force, uh, cooling system. So this is a triple fan, quality blocking color. Box natin. Ano na to guys? Gamit na. So, ito yung mga ginagamit for event. Gigigabyte. Ayan. So, ito yung tsura ng GPU. Triple fan design. May parang texture. Uy, ang ganda ng ano, finish dito. May matte. Tapos, may pag texture sa pag ginawa ka nyo is talagang mafeel mo yung I don't know kung anong tawag dun sa surface nyo. Texture ng surface. So, ito sa gilid. Power connector, 6 plus 2 bin. So, ito yung heatsink. Ganyan siya kahaba. And the PCB itself is lang gandito lang. Tapos, ito yung sa may backplate. Uh, ito yung cutout uh, for the yung sa airflow ng isang fan here. This is a 16G. The output is ang HDMI dalawang TP. Okay? Two slot design. Okay, next is the AIO cooler. So, this is the Gigabyte Gaming 240 CPU liquid cooler. So, check lang natin yung likod. Some of the features, infinity mirror, magnetic, removable cover, tapos cable-free connection fans. Uy, interesting ah, baka ano to. Yung DC chainable na may golden pin. Wala ng additional cable for cable management, di ba? So, ito yung bago nilang AIO cooler. I think this is for the budget around below 5,000 mga ganyan. And so, oh, good thing pre-installed na yung dalawang 120mm. Let's check natin yung quality. So, yung tubing is good. Flexible siya. 
Oh, you got a wide uh, surface area ng uh, CPU block dito. Okay, may kable dito. So, nag-iisa na lang yung kable. So, naka-DC chain na siya dito. So, dalawa nga lang yung kable dito para ira-route nyo. So, yung pump guys, I think nasa radiator somewhere here. Kasi may additional wire dito. Yes, confirmed. Nandito po yung pump. So, wala dito. Correct? Yeah, kasi ARGB lang siya. So, yung ARGB na has a split cable para may DC chain nyo. For example, yung motherboard natin is, kunwari, kulang yung addressable niya. I-double check ko ulit natin. So, hanapin natin yung addressable. So, isa dito. Two, three. Okay. So, meron tatlo sa, uh, sa motherboard. So, isa sa taas, dalawa sa baba, and isang uh, 12V na 4 pin. So, that's nice. Kahit na maubusan kayo is merong split cable uh, yung AIO natin. Okay? So, I think this illumination dito natatanggal. Yes. Pwede yung ma-rotate. So, front tayo. Nakanggan ito. So, kung gigabyte, pwede natin i-rotate itong screen. Nice. Yun yung mga gusto kong feature uh, sa AIO. Yung mga sinuunang labas kasi ng mga ibang brand is hindi na rotate yan kasi nauuso na yung mga alam mo yun pag yung sa mounting or, or orientation di ba kung gusto mo na kaganyan check natin naman is the power supply so here's the power supply so gigabyte at 650 watts na power supply Christian kaya ba yan? well actually kaya naman so ito yung power supply 650 Tapos, uh, block cabling, flat cables, non-modular. Uh, I don't know kung magkano ito. Siguro around, ano ito, 3,500, mga ganyan. And so, yun yung kasama. I think this is a silver rated na 80 plus. Okay, sa RAM natin, so this is the EXPO na Fury. Uh, 16 gigabyte. so this is a 32 gigabyte na RAM. So, this is a EXPO Kingston. Okay, ito yung processor natin, Ryzen 7, 7700. So, this is a tray type, ha? Tapos, 1 terabyte na SSD. Ito yung case, guys. So, C102. Micro ATX lang siya. O, oh, meron na kaya tong fan? I don't know kung meron na tong fan na included, ha? Pero feeling ko, kinabit lang. Kasi mamaya sabihin ko sa inyo na meron na siya. Pero, I think, kinabit lang yung fan. Kasi naka-braided cable, eh. So, I think, ano. Confirm ko lang, guys. I-comment ko na lang sa comment section area if this has included na three ARGB na fans up front pero I think hindi kasi braided siya okay cut out uh, for the PSU shroud meron dito meron ding vents uh, uy pwede kayong magkabit ng 100 or 240mm na fan yan meron cable pass through dito ayan this is a micro ATX uh, form factor uy pwede kayong mag uh, side mount uh, for the intake din so mamimili na lang kayo kung ano yung ikakabit nyo Ah, kung nari, gusto nyo dito for the intake, tanggalin nyo, lipat nyo dito. So, you can also mount here sa top. Pwede siya ng 360mm. Gusto so, nagalap ng micro ATX na case na does support 360mm. Pwede to. Cut out uh, for the cable pass-through sa taas for the CPU and also yung mga ARGB fans. Okay, so ito yung itsura sa gilid. Tignan mo buksan yung ano guys. And, ito yung itsura niya. Oh, yun, you can access actually yung uh, yung filters directly sa front. Wala na yung, alam mo yun, ipupull mo siya. Pero, mismo air intake nito is fine or super fine mesh. Lilit na butas. Actually, I like the design. Ano itong, ano, case nila. Nagigibite C102. Yan, yun lahat ng parts. Hintayin nyo lang yung build nito. Just a quick unboxing lang. Naghanap kayo ng uh, parts na all gigabyte, all AMD, Ryzen, yun nga, Ryzen 7, 7700. Uh, natin siya ng 9060XT na 16G. So, ang purpose nito is for gaming, rendering. Pwede naman ito mapababa lang guys. If you want uh, same build pero bababaan nyo lang yung processor to cut the budget. Okay, kung hindi naman rendering, so pwede nyo naman gawing yung processor is Ryzen 5 7500 or 7600 or yung mga bagong 8400F ganyan. So, kung yun lang, kung gaming lang, ganyan, pwede kayo mag 1080p or 1440p since yung GPU pala natin is a 16GB VRAM. Pwede pang 1440p to. Nice. So, tetestin din natin sa games. Anyway, yun lang guys uh, for this video. 
Stay tuned for the build na gagawin ko dito. And I'll see you guys on my next unboxing video. Bye guys!